Can we make our own camp meals that are better and cheaper? I've done several food comparison videos before and this is along those same lines. So Harvest Right is a company that makes freeze dryers and they sent me one of their machines and I want to do a side-by-side -side test using that machine. This is where my friend Eric comes in. Eric is a much better cook than me. Probably, yeah. <laughs> We're making stroganoff. Beef stroganoff, that's the plan? Yeah, All beef right. and mushroom stroganoff, your favorite. All right, that should be delicious and it makes an excellent camp meal, at least in theory. Let's get started. Mmm, noodles. While Eric is chopping your vegetables, I'm actually going to heat up some water and prepare this meal so that we've got something to compare to. Five minutes. The meat is like little meatballs. Especially if you'd been out like hiking all day, you'd probably be pretty happy to eat this. Mm -hmm. It's not a terribly complicated meal. Once we've uh, pan seared it, cooked it, and freeze dried it, and reconstituted it, a lot of things could change. Not bad though. Definitely my favorite go-to backpacking meal. Yeah. After a day of backpacking, like I would be thrilled to eat that. I would be looking forward to that. Garnish me. Oh. Garnished. Here we go. Hot. That is so much better. Right now it tastes better. Mm -hmm. Significantly cheaper proportion. Yeah. We've saved a lot of money, but now we have to test if we can successfully freeze dry it and reconstitute it, and then what is it gonna taste like? Ah, that'll be great. Yeah, just go for it. There you go, you're folding it in. I know we're folding. I'm pretty stoked. Either way, I'm stoked. But... I guess we'll find out. So the one thing I did not do was weigh the stroganoff before and after to know exactly how much water, but I did weigh the dried mix to weigh the same amount as what's in this bag. So this says one and two thirds cup water. I think if that's enough for the homemade stuff as well. I'm thinking there's more noodle in this than there was noodle Ooh. in that. Oh, and you can't tell on camera. It's been, what, two and a half, three weeks? We'll have to go back and look at the footage and see how far the beard has grown because <laughs> I don't think I've shaved since then. Yeah, that smells kind of like beef stroganoff. It looks like it's, beef stroganoff. It's, it's very light on smell, actually. Three the weeks. date's on the packaging, pal. Hey, I put the date on the package. It's been almost a month. Four weeks. <laughs> One and two thirds. I'm glad you brought a bunch so that we can experiment, because I'm not. Now we give it five minutes. Five minutes later. It's been five minutes. Let's stir carefully. Stirring. Carefully? Mm, I may not be as careful as I'm supposed to. What? That is watery. But vastly superior. But the meat is prime time. Oh, well you so we'll kinda, see. you jumped the gun a little bit, but that's okay. We're gonna, you all right, have official, to use that footage. official taste test. Let's see, all right, so I gotta try the mountain house here. Get, get a little of everything. Get noodle, get, get meat, and get a little mushroom, even though you love mushrooms. Got some of everything here, it's gonna burn me. 
about what I remember from a month ago. Mostly salty. Mm -hmm. There's like you, you taste the noodles. You taste the meat a little bit. There's like what? three notes in there. Maybe, yeah. yeah. Get a piece of meat. Is that meat or is that yeah. that's mushroom? That's meat. I got both. I got both meat and okay. mushroom. Mm. Much more complex flavor. Not as salty, which is good because that's a lot of salt. Mm. I mean, I know which one yeah. I would rather have on camp out. We'll try and work on this sauce thing, but the flavor of that is so much better. Because we are still a little soupy. Now, we made the beef stroganoff. We did all that on camera. Off camera, I had a beef stew recipe. It's, you know, potatoes, carrots, celery, all mixed in with the beef with a really, really good broth. And I made some of that and freeze dried that as well. So I brought some of that and reconstituted it. This one, I actually weighed how much it weighed before and after freeze drying. So I had a better sense of how much water to add. Is it's pretty good compared to how it usually tastes. The biggest difference, the potatoes, yeah, have a little bit more absorbing to do. I wonder if it's more absorbing or if they need to be slightly smaller pieces. That probably would help. I didn't make this with the goal of freeze drying. I made it just because I wanted to have the stew. And then I freeze dried some. I've just done so many weird things with freeze dryers. Like I've done dozens of experiments, weird things to put in freeze dryers. Very few of them were even food. So I wanted to try using one for its intended purpose and test if like I can actually get the right results out of it. And absolutely, this works great and it's cheaper than buying the bag. Yeah, I love us too. If there's anything else you wanna see me put in the freeze dryer, let me know.